everybody and welcome back today we're going to be making some toothpaste so let's just dive right in um, so first of all let's just get rid of the cube um, let's just move that camera out the way and we're going to put in a cylinder to begin with so, so we're going to be putting in a cylinder we're going to rotate it on the Y90 and then we're just going to make it a little bit longer go into edit mode these vertices here we're going to scale Z0 and then we're just going to put a loop cut in there bring that down scale Z0 up the end here, make sure we're in face mode. Select that, inset, and then just grab it and pull it out. So we've got the concave or convexed top. And then with that, we're going to extrude on the X. So we've got our lid, not lid, but the bit where the toothpaste come out. Next, what we're going to do is add a screw. So we're going to come out of this, go Shift A, and then create a plane. Let's just bring that up here. Um, now, what we're going to do is just go into Edit Mode, Vertex, and I'm just going to move that up here. Okay. Now what we need to do is rotate on the Y90, oh, we need to come out of that, rotate on the Y90, okay, and then just bring it on over to our um, actually we need to just set that back to zero and then rotate this round 45 minus 45 and then scale it right down because this is going to be the thread and uh, so we just bring this over here and scale that down quite a bit so it's like that so this is going to be the the top part okay and then go into the modifiers Add modifier and then we need to add the screw modifier and um, we need it to be on here so then we need to just keep going on there and then add the screw um, uh, uh. so Let's just add a bit more. About there, I reckon. And then we can just apply. Okay. Now, next thing we need to do is add a texture on there. So we're going to select the toothpaste barrel new we're going to change this to image I'm just going to drag this across and change that to EV editor um, now I've done a texture for this which I'll add to the website if you need it Okay, so it's a little bit of a mess there, but hey ho. So next what we're going to do is go into edit mode, go into edge mode, select those and select those. And then we're going to hit W and then mark seam. And then on the back here, just this one here we're going to mark that as a seam as well um, so what we're going to do
do now is just going to go into C, select all those, um, escape W, and then auto align, and then we're going to do that on the same on this end. Um, w, escape W, auto align, and then these ones, the ones at the bottom here. We can just scale on the Y, scale on the Y and bring it out. And also what we can do is press the G and bring it down on the X. So it should fill, yep, there we go. We got our toothpaste. Um, we need to create a, another new material. I'm just going to keep that white, um, so that'll be all these along here, and this one here as well, because the top and the bottoms are always white. Um, and now we need to just put in a subdivision, a couple of loop cuts there and there and there and one here uh, oh. and one there now we can just put in a plane scale that up I'm going to come out of there, let's put a smooth shader on there, shift A, and then we want a plane in there, and scale that up, and just bring that on down, this and this, we can just rotate, so it's on the ground, let's just give us a bit of a darker, so you can, so it brings the blue out, blue and white out a little bit more um, is that on there yeah looks it now what if you wanted to bring some toothpaste out of there what's going on there oh. select faces um, and inset Okay, that should be in there actually. Let's extrude on the X. And then control R. Number three. Okay. Now, what if we want to assign that? There we go. Control R. So what if you want to put some um, toothpaste in there? Well, what we can do, if you want, is come out of that, create a Bezier line. Um, let's just get rid of that. Let's find our Bezier curve. There we go. And then just bring it on over. Bring it on down. Not bad. So we just got to 
create it. I get into edit mode, bring that down onto the floor, maybe out a little bit. And then on here, you can extrude. Let's just move that up there, extrude. Maybe make it into a little curve there. Like so, and then just go into of data properties, go into geometry, into bevel, and just increase it so it looks like some toothpaste. Let's just go here and assess that one there. There we go. Just give it a bit of a better curve. Now what we can do is come out of edit mode, go into object, convert to mesh from curve. And then we should be able to edit the curve, edit the vertices in here. And then let's just scale those on in. I'll just bring it out a little bit and then let's just chop on the face and then let's just put a curve put a couple of curves in there this one scale this oh. this one scale and there we go we've got some white toothpaste let's just W and then shade smooth Maybe give it a subdiv, make it look nicer. And there we go, there we have it. There's our toothpaste. I'm just gonna go into cycles. So this here, we can just give it, take out the roughness a bit. There's a light, there it is, just bring it on over. I do prefer an area light and then check out the sizes take it up a bit just to give it a nice little shadow on the floor there you can just edit this um, uh, number two extrude on the Z Hit that one, control B, chuck in a few segments, W, shade smooth, let's get rid of the overlays, and there's your toothpaste, maybe we just need to bring this up a little bit, it's not quite sitting on the floor. bring proportional editing go into that one select that and bring that up like so there we go Take off overlays, and there's our toothpaste. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you got a lot out of it. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.